Welcome to CADEX TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Friday, March 16, 2012. Offshore energy initiatives at Lloyd's, championed by Performance Director Tom Bolt after the Deepwater Horizon disaster in 2009, have prompted the syndicate Canopius to reestablish itself in that sector. This is according to its chairman, Michael Watson. He explained that Canopius has never written a lot of Gulf of Mexico exposed offshore energy business. He said we were pretty fed up with the way the market behaved after Deepwater Horizon. But we think that some of the improvements that have emerged that have been ascribed to Tom Bolt are good and we've expanded into that area. Bolt had demanded a number of changes to the way offshore business was written by Lloyds, including splitting energy liability out of package coverages. He was criticized at that time, but he was right. The insurer Chartis is alleging that a former London-based senior vice president made secret profits from staff he helped recruit from the insurer for the insurer. Chartis claims that Claude Maillet kept him in the dark about a profit-sharing deal he had signed with the recruitment firm Resourcing Plus Limited. Mr. Maillet no longer works at Chartis, neither he or Chartis would comment. The FSA head Hector Sanz, the head of uh, Britain's financial regulator, will step down at the end of June. He tried to do this several years ago, but was asked to stay on. A tornado ripped through a rural Michigan community today up near Ann Arbor, Michigan, damaging about 200 homes. It was up in Washtenaw County. Iran has now largely been cut off from global commerce after SWIFT, the company that handles worldwide financial transactions, said it was severing ties with 30 Iranian banks that uh, you are used by the Iranians to handle oil and gas transactions. They effectuated the ban as a result of the EU-backed sanctions. According to the chief executives of the company, disconnecting banks is an extraordinary and unprecedented step for SWIFT. There was a 5.9 earthquake in the southern Philippines today. It caused a stampede in a shopping mall that left at least 20 people injured. The tremor struck at 3.58 p.m. local time in the southern province of Surigao. It was felt most strongly in Surigao City where panic broke out among a crowd of several hundred people attending the opening of the second floor of a shopping mall. The United States uh, Reinsurance Association of America released figures today saying that the 19 member companies saw their average combined ratio deteriorate from about 95.5% in 2010 to 107% in 2011 as a result of last year's cat losses. They also said that uh, their members show a net underwriting loss in 2011 of $2.16 billion compared to a profit of about $1.07 billion in 2009. Actually, in 20, yes, in 2009. The Falkland Islands may be sitting on a sea of oil. The 3,000 islanders are uh, reading with great uh, interest a report issued by the Edison Investment Research Company based in London saying that, in fact, uh, the uh, sea lion field, which lies slightly to the north of the islands, could produce about uh, $10.5 billion in taxes and royalties to the islanders. What the uh, research report also says is that new exploration currently going on south of the islands in the uh, field there could in fact uh, be 10 times bigger than what exists to the north. It's a game changer for the Falcons, said one observer. The Argentinians are not sitting by. They of course call the Falcons the Malinas, Malvinas, and they're saying that in fact uh, the South Atlantic's oil and gas are property of the Argentinian people. That transformer fire in Boston uh, earlier this week that knocked out power to thousands of homes had a good effect for zoo animals at the uh, Menden Zoo, at the Southwick Zoo in Menden. About 2,500 pounds of steak, no longer deemed fit for human consumption, were donated by the Capitol Grill to the uh, zoo. The zoo's two tigers, a lion and a leopard, dined like kings yesterday, and there are enough leftovers available to feed the cats for several more weeks. 21,000 people lost electricity. They're all back online as of now. That's the news for today. Have a very good weekend. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you.